Next on Worcester News tonight, new safety technology will soon be implemented at Worcester Public Schools, giving teachers the ability to contact police directly. Plus, could the marijuana industry be growing in Leicester? Two establishments are looking to work together. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Olivia Lemon. In an effort to reduce police response time, safety technology could alert law enforcement of an active shooter in a school in a matter of seconds. And soon, Worcester Public Schools will be supplied with the new life-saving technology, Enforce 911. Our Chandler Walsh joins us live now to explain. Chandler? Olivia, Worcester Public Schools School Safety Director says the most harm in an active shooter situation usually occurs in the first six minutes. This technology aims to decrease police response response time so they can arrive on scene in time. In just seconds, the entire police department can be alerted there's an active school shooter. Soon, Worcester Public Schools will be equipped with this technology called Enforce 911. The safety app will allow schools to communicate directly with Worcester Police. All they need to do is double click on that application as a two-step process and it instantly sends an alert to law enforcement in field in the communication center uh, and the cell phones of officers. School staff can send alerts from any device and send locations and descriptions to police. Police can also receive building floor plans and live camera feeds. School safety director Robert Pazella says parents can feel a little better knowing Worcester schools are being proactive. This program is going to protect their children. They're going to be able to minimize harm and most importantly, get their children home safe. Enforce Technology CEO Brandon Flanagan says there have been at least 20 school shootings so far in 2018 and schools across the country need to be prepared. The Danvers-based technology firm aims to alert police of threats in 12 seconds or less compared to a phone call which can take four to six minutes. We recognize the importance of reducing police response time and getting our first responders in the building as effectively and efficiently as possible. The technology can also be used for other active threats and allow police to alert schools of threats in the community. Principals of school buildings call me sometimes and say, why are helicopters or why are cops in my, in my, around my school? Well, this software application would allow local law enforcement to notify schools and let them know what's going on. Flanagan says the app's work to shorten response time will save lives. Having three sons and a, and a little girl on the way, I want to make sure that we can protect these schools. Pazella says the technology will be in 14 of Worcester schools at the beginning of next school year and should be in all of the schools at the, at the end of the next school year. Olivia? All right, thank you, Chandler. Two people are rescued this morning when their sailboat capsizes on Middle Pond in Webster. According to police, the boat overturned, leaving a man and woman stranded on top of the vessel. Webster police were able to use their own boat to rescue the two. They were safely brought to shore to dry up and warm off. Meanwhile, Webster EMS and rescue boat crews were able to upright the boat and bring it to shore. Could a third airline be coming to the Worcester Regional Airport? Massport Chairman of the Board, Sheriff Lou Evangelitis, says he's hopeful there will be an announcement by the end of the year. Right now, JetBlue offers flights to Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and starting two weeks ago, New York. In October, American Airlines will start offering flights to Philadelphia. We have an expectation that if the news continues to grow and the buzz in the community is there and the support is there, that there's other airlines looking at Worcester Regional Airport. And we're very hopeful we may be able to put together another announcement with another airline uh, by the end of the year. And Evangelitis says the momentum of the airport is positive for the city. With one medical marijuana facility already in town, Lester may be growing in the industry. In a vote Tuesday, Board of Selectmen voted in favor of a host agreement with two more establishments coming to town. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us live now to explain. Brittany. Olivia, Selectman voted 3-2 in favor Tuesday night. The town administrator's office says they are excited about the partnership and look forward to the much needed money and jobs it will bring. 
Marijuana businesses will likely keep growing in Leicester after the Board of Selectmen voted in favor of a host agreement with two marijuana companies. It's a win-win for both the companies and the town. East Coast Organics and Canisys will be bringing recreational marijuana distribution facilities to the area, along with a promise for economic growth for the town. They each have two licenses, one for cultivation, one for production, so $75,000 a piece over both businesses, so we get the total of $300,000 a year. They're estimating about 400 jobs, and they have expressed a willingness to do a local hiring preference. We like to hire minority women and locals and support the uh, area in general. Assistant to the town administrator Kristen Forsberg says the added $300,000 a year plus property taxes the new businesses will pay will help the town in places they are currently struggling. We are very tight in our operating budget right now. The schools departments actually had to do some layoffs for the coming year. We probably have about $4 million in capital needs. So this will be a great inroad towards making those improvements. The two companies are looking at sharing an abandoned building on Huntoon Memorial Highway. Candace's president says Lester is the perfect location. Centrally located in Massachusetts, the town can benefit from our being there. We are experienced in all levels of uh, operation and we know how to do this according to Massachusetts regulations and standards. Now, the next step for the two companies is to get a license from the Cannabis Control Commission. Canisys says they hope to open and start growing in early 2019. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight. A free event for seniors and their caregivers Wednesday featured guest speakers discussing topics including health and wellness and public safety issues like the opioid epidemic. Sheriff Lou Evangelitis, District Attorney Joseph Early Jr. and Dr. Keith Darrow were some of the speakers at Elder Care 2018. The main focus of today's event was to engage at every age. Speakers talked to the elderly about how they can become more involved in their community. It's all about staying young, staying engaged, staying part of the community, understanding what's going on and just uh, being able to be a part. And the event was sponsored by the Central Massachusetts Agency on Aging and the Worcester County Sheriff's Office. The Worcester Housing Authority receives a near perfect score on a national evaluation. The WHA is considered a high performer after scoring a 93 out of 100 on the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's most recent evaluation. It's an improvement of two points from last year. The Housing Authority is scored on things like the condition of the apartments, management systems, and the way they take care of their capital fund. To celebrate with the team, it's a fantastic staff, fantastic team, and it, it really encompasses that it's a team effort in order for us to get this. It's not one individual that was able to to get to 93 because it measures everything that we do at housing here. So we're really thrilled and proud of the, of the scoring. And Corrales says as a high performer, the WHA can be eligible for more in capital funding and they are in a better position for some hundred grants. Well, it is taking the internet by storm, the latest debate. And at this time, it's not whether the dress is blue or gold. It's over two words and what people are hearing and why we hear it differently. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us live now with more on the trending debate. Roslyn? Olivia, it's sparking a huge debate on social media, whether people are hearing Yanny or Laurel. And a doctor says it all has to do with how your brain is wired. Laurel. Laurel. Is it Yanny or Laurel? Laurel. Yanny. A short audio clip is tearing the internet and worlds apart over what people are hearing. A Reddit user posted the robot on social media and it went viral. Laurel. What are you talking about? That doesn't sound like no, that, that at all. Like Laurel. I hear That's the other one. Even celebrities like Ellen DeGeneres are picking a side. It's really weird to know that. I don't hear it the same as other people. Neuroscientist Dr. Keith Darrow says he's not surprised people are hearing two different words because it has to do with how people's brains are wired in different experiences. It has a lot to do with sort of the auditory environment that we were raised in and our acuity for hearing certain sounds better than others. The science of understanding how you perceive something or I perceive something, that's quite complex. We're all different. We all see things differently, hear things differently. It, it makes sense. Some say they aren't even hearing those words at all. 
scary. I don't know. That's not even the same. It sounds like the same Mary. While others are sticking to what they hear, even if it sparks a debate between friends. I hear very clearly. I hear very clearly, Laurel. <laughs> you guys are in a debate. I yeah. guess we are. Right. I won't be the first time. So here at Worcester News Tonight, we're also in a debate. I hear Laurel. I hear Yanni. But the official tally sheet is in. Yanni has won 7-5 to five for Worcester News Tonight. So I'm right. Uh, <laughs> it's Laurel. Uh, thank you, Roslyn.